Hi, how is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just wanted to, to show you guys a um, quick um, banana nut bread recipe. <laughs> I actually had a taste for some banana nut bread, so I'm like, oh, I think I had most of the stuff at home already, except um, I'm going to try this easy to make banana nut bread mix. So, all you actually need is just water, banana, and one egg. So, I um, already got my egg, I got my mix, I got um, two bananas. I, you know what, this is why I wanted to make the banana nut bread, because I had these bananas and I didn't want to throw them away. And I was at the store, and I got this at my local Publix. I think it was less than uh, $3. It's really simple to make. I made it before, but I actually like... Um, I like walnuts in my banana nut bread, so mine's just gonna be banana nut walnut bread. So, just a simple, this shouldn't take too long, it should, probably less than a couple minutes, so. And it actually makes, let's see. Oh my God, oh, this bowl is big enough. <laughs> So I just poured the mix in there. I should already have my stuff already together, but I didn't. So it calls for one egg. I'm just gonna whip up an egg. Lightly beaten egg. And I think it calls for a third cup of water. So we're gonna use a third cup of water. If you guys like banana nut, um, uh, banana nut bread, this is quick, quick and simple way to make it. You can make it from scratch. I ain't trying to do that. <laughs> so I just picked up this. It says, if you guys can see, it's the Chiquita, a banana nut bread mix. Well, not banana nut because some people are are allergic. Um, to nuts, thank God I'm not, because I like um, walnuts and stuff like that. So I am going to take my two bananas. And I'm just gonna mash them. I need a spoon. So if you guys like bananas and you have um, extra bananas laying around and you don't wanna throw them away if they're going bad, just pick you up a box of the um, the Chiquita banana bread mix, and you can make yourself some banana bread. And actually, let's see here. I'm gonna have more than enough, <laughs> so I could take some for um. I can just eat some throughout the day as a snack, or I could take it to work for a breakfast snack. So I have two bananas. I'm just gonna mash them up here in this bowl, which I, I don't know why I didn't use a bigger bowl. <laughs> but you guys see what I'm doing here. Hopefully my camera will not. Okay, so I'm just gonna mash. I already have my uh, loaf uh, pan. I have a glass one. If you don't have the glass one, you can also use the um, the metal one, but I have, a, um, I have glass. So, oops, now it's mad. All right, I'm trying to get these smashed up here. It's been a while since I made it, but it's fairly simple. Like I say, all you need is uh, water and an egg and the bananas. But I'm gonna add some of these uh, walnuts. They just, well, these are the, wall, I mean the, um, I got these from Walmart. These are the great value chopped walnuts. And it says perfect for baking, which is good because that's exactly what I'm going to use it for. I already have my oven preheated to 350. Yeah, I got my oven pre uh, preheated to 350. That is already ready to go. And as soon as I get my bananas mashed up here. Okay, 
I think that might be good enough because I'm gonna have to stir it in. I'm gonna have to put it in there anyway, so it should finish stirring. But it smells good. Kind of looks like baby food. <laughs> so, all right, that is fairly smashed. I'm gonna use a little um, vegetable oil, or you can use olive oil. I'm gonna use vegetable oil to grease your. Um, to grease your loaf dish. I had a little brush, but I don't know where it's at to spread that around, but I'm just gonna use a quick paper towel. <laughs> so you just grease and flour your, um, lightly grease and flour your, your baking dish. I'll put a little flour. Just a little bit. So lightly grease and flour your bacon dish. So now let's see here. Okay. All right. I'm first I'm gonna add the water. You can put it in any way you want because it's all going, it's all mixing together, right? <laughs> So I put the water, add my eggs. I was gonna try to do this, uh, make it on my island, which is a whole lot bigger, but I got um, paparazzi jewelry all over it. <laughs> Although I have a room, but I just feel I, um, in a table, and I'm just gonna pour the bananas in. I like to spread my stuff out in the kitchen. I like to spread my jewelry out in the kitchen on the island <laughs> because it's long. Um, it's better lighting in my kitchen. So just mix all this together, and I'm gonna wait and add my walnuts in because I just want to make sure I get this mixed. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't know if I did this. I don't know if I posted this before because I do remember doing it. But if not, here we go again. <laughs> it smells good. See how it's coming along? I'm just going to add, um, I actually like the, the other chopped walnuts, um, which are a little, they're more chopped. But I couldn't find those at the store, so I'm just going to add these. You can add as many or little as you like. I want to make sure I get some in every bite, so I'm going to add a lot. <laughs> Probably not the whole bag, because I'm going to save that. I'm going to save some, because I want to make some um, banana nut. I mean, yeah, I want to make some banana walnut pancakes. I'm going to save some of the. I'm going to save some of the walnuts. Well, you know what? Maybe not. I could always buy another bag, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna put, yeah. Here we go. Smells delicious. Like I said, I already got the oven set for 350. I think I whipped it up enough. The only thing I'm missing is some coffee. I forgot to get um I forgot to get some coffee um some little coffee pods. So I don't have any coffee to go with my banana nut bread. I could run across the street. <laughs> There's a Publix like two minutes away from me. Literally in the car. So I could just all I have to do is just go across the light at my house. All right, there we have it. I'm just gonna pour it in my little, oh, I'm pouring it in my little glass dish. Like I said, if you don't have the glass one, I'd rather cook in the glass and because it's easy to clean. But if you want, um, you can also get those throwaway loaf pans if you don't like to clean up. And once you're done with it, 
you just toss it in the garbage. I think they're like a dollar or something, but. <clears throat> All right. There you have it. Easy peasy. That's how it looks. I'm going to um, put it in. Oops. I'm going to put it in the oven for, let's see how long. Okay. It's going to go in the oven for 45 I'm going to put it in the oven for uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Then I'll take it out, um, let it cool a little bit. I'll stick either a, a toothpick or a fork in it to see if it is done. And I'll come back and let you guys see the finished results. But here it is, my banana nut, banana nut walnut. <laughs> banana walnut, right? Banana walnut bread, right? So anyway. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, if you like the video, give me the thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. I will post a picture on um, how it turned out, or I'll come back and do a, um, a video and let you guys see. All right, thanks, thanks guys, for watching. Bye.